Good evening and welcome to a special hour of 2020. Tonight, myths, lies and downright stupidity. We investigate 10 things about your love life, your health and your money. It turns out that much of what we think we know is wrong. For example, myth number 10. We start there. The world is running out of oil. Now, how can that be a myth? Everyone knows that's true, isn't it? Go organic for Earth Day. At Earth Day events last month, people were quick to tell us we're running out of oil. It's running out quickly. We're going to run out really soon. It's an unrenewable resource. It's running out a lot sooner than you think. But what people don't know is that there's a vast supply of oil just 500 miles north in Canada. The tar sands of Alberta alone contain enough hydrocarbon to fuel the entire planet for over a hundred years. What's he talking about? This is what the Canadian tar sands looks like. It's a Florida-sized patch of this disgusting stuff. Sand and rock mixed with oil. Lots of it. We're talking trillions of barrels, the whole planet, from Alberta for about a century. Peter Huber, co-author of The Bottomless Well, says people think we're running out of oil because we're running out of cheap oil, the kind that's found in the Middle East, already liquid, clean, and ready to refine. It's very cheap to get that oil out of the ground, so of course that's where people go first. They can pull it out of the ground for five bucks a barrel. Less. That was once true in America, as Jimmy Stewart celebrated in the movie Thunder Bay. It costs three times as much to get oil out of these tar sands because they have to add hot water to the sand to separate the oil. But now that oil's expensive and likely to stay that way, companies find it profitable to do this. Clive Mather, who runs Shell in Canada, says the Earth's supply of hydrocarbons is almost infinite. And those are not running out. In fact, we've ha hardly started to develop them. When the price of oil is high, as it is now, it's profitable for companies to extract it from the tar sands. We may have to get used to paying more for gas, as Europeans do, because oil now comes from less accessible places. But the oil is out there. The planet contains huge amounts of buried hydrocarbons. The question is, can you get them out? At what price? But so why are we hearing all this stuff about running out? It's nothing new. People have been saying this for 150 years. They sure have. So-called experts say things like, we're going to become a dying civilization. We will see the extinction of Homo sapiens. People are always saying that about it can be Ebola, it can be flu, global warming. Sometimes uh, they're right, usually they're wrong, and they've been saying it about oil for a long time. The oil and natural gas... 29 years ago, President Carter said oil and gas... ...are simply running out. He said it would be gone in the next decade. People were saying that in, in 1880. They were saying it in 1910. Why do they keep getting it wrong? We get better at getting things out of the earth. We keep improving. And that's why the predictions keep being wrong. New seismic imaging now lets people see through miles of water and rock. And by bouncing sound waves and watching the results in 3D, lets them find pockets of oil that no one knew were there. I don't think we will ever run out of oil. Ships with their own drills travel farther from shore. And robots let them explore deeper beneath the ocean, where cameras watch sharks bite the pipes. Who knows what they'll discover tomorrow? But we know today that here in Canada alone, the supplies may last a hundred years. Maybe not.